remember when I first saw Ariana Grande's wedding pics. I was, along with a apparently a record-breaking number of others, enamored, like literally knocked off my seat. Not literally. Thankfully, because I was actually sitting on the toilet when I first saw it. Anyway, when I saw that gorgeous Vera Wang with the low-cut back and that mid-century veil, I knew I needed to get right up off my where I was sitting and go fabric shopping. Shopping outfit check. Got my Landon Tours shirt, Harley Quinn shorts, Walmart brand Air Force Ones, probably technically known as Air Force Twos, and my feather type boy, Gare. And my feather type boy say, Sheesh. Are you a Gen Z? What generation are you? Fail to your feet. Sheesh. Yee yeah, yeah. Epic fail. Gnarly. Off to Walmart for some fabric. Do you mind if your hands are put in a video? Now, we can't be married Ariana Grande, otherwise known as Mariana Grande, without first being Fariana Grande. Fiance, Ari. Ari. So we're going to make her iconic engagement ring. Do you see the bumps? This is the most painful bump. Supplies. After going mining throughout the earth for all these rare and exotic gems, I found one that would work and a pearl button and who is calling me? And I glued them to a blank ring. Insert fart noise. Let's just hope the dress goes better than the ring. Then with all the other rings that were in that little blank ring package and all the extra gems I had, I decided to make seven rings. Get it? Oh, Dad, I know you didn't get it. It was a joke for the younger crowd. Now, before we go much further- Really? An interruption already? Are we ever gonna get this dress made? Just humor me for a sec. I'd like to talk about today's sponsor. Now, how about we begin this ad with a little riddle? What do all hot tub owners have in common? Bacterial infections? No, they're successful. I was looking for successful. And what do most successful people have in common? They cheat the cyst to have skill. They are skilled. They're skilled. And you can strengthen your skills. Potentially leading to you owning a hot tub. With Skillshare, it's an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in your creativity. Lost? Sometimes I get lost on my way up the stairs. Okay, it's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads, so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. There are classes on drawing, sewing, writing, and even baby boomer fitness. You name it, they have a class on it. Sometimes I use this pool net to catch bats. Is that a skill? Uh, no. Most classes are less than 60 minutes made up of short lessons. And unlike a college or a school, there's no set schedule. So you can watch the videos anytime, like when you're roller skating or giving your dad a haircut. Or even in the hot tub. My favorite class that I've recently attended is YouTube Success. Script, shoot, edit. By MKBHD. You have no idea how many takes it took me to get those letters in the right order. By MBK. By KBM. By K. By M. That class taught me that I do a lot of things wrong and I'm pretty bad at my job. But it gave me tips on how to do a lot of things better so that hopefully I'll be an even better YouTuber. Tips like, well, I don't want to give any of the tricks away. You'll just have to watch it for yourself by following the link in my description. Doing so will get you one free month trial of Skillshare, but only if you're one of the first 1,000 people to click it. So you better go fight for it. Like you better pounce on that link like a rushing stampede of suburban Americans at a Walmart on Black Friday. That was really specific. I just met some new neighbors while filming that hot tub ad. I guess they were watching the whole time and I didn't realize. So back to that dress. While hatching my diabolical blueprints, it became clear that the dress would be split up into a bra-like top and a very high-waisted but low-backed skirt. Then, of course, the elegant mosquito net. Now, let's start draping the dress. I began the journey by muslin draping the front of my top. This proved to be a little bit tricky considering Ariana evidently didn't get the memo that she owed the world a picture of the front of her dress. Working off of only these back and side references, my brain needed to be in tip-top shape to figure this one out. So I exercised it by playing Grandpa JJ at this cool new board game that just came out. Then I ironed down the darts in my mock-up. Okay, iron, no pressure. You have a big, important job to do. Oh, it's okay. I do that when I'm nervous too sometimes. Then I took those pieces off the mannequin, traced them onto a piece of paper, cut them out, then traced them back onto some muslin to make another mock-up because I was just terrified to cut into the satin. Wasn't a total waste though because I turned one of the mock-ups into this shirt. Ugh. Where are we going? Ikea! How are we going to get there? In an RV. So I went into a Starbucks and there's a girl working there who is a subscriber. So it clicks. Click. Sound effect. I should just keep those rings on me and if I ever meet any subscribers, just give one of those rings to everyone I meet. That's what you Are you recharging? So yeah, I gave Adele from Starbucks a ring, and maybe if I ever meet you, I'll give you a ring. More incentive to stalk me. Yikes. I have to speak in a British accent for Siri to actually understand what she's saying. Ikea was great. Courtney did a bad job hiding her superpowers as usual. I bought a Kledgesen of two bibs, and JJ wore these rugs as leg warmers. Some people don't know how to behave in public. Fun fact, did y'all know that SMH stands for shaking my head? I thought it stood for shake my hand. I just thought when people commented that, it was like I was doing something so cool that they were like, please, shake my 
hand. This is our future if we keep using plastic straws. We just gotta find the RV. There it is. Oh my gosh, somebody vandalized my RV. They spray painted the U-Haul logo on it and horse and carriage. I consoled myself with some steak and shake and I know what you're thinking right now. You're like, oh my gosh, it's okay to light a candle in an RV. Well, it ended up not being totally okay, but I don't feel like telling that story. Then it was time for more, more brain, brain exercise. exercise. Then the horses pulled our carriage all the way home where I pinned together and sewed my mako. While chomping gum, I tried it on myself, made a few adjustments, and made another, another mock-up. Speaking of gum, not mock-ups, I really don't like when people chew their food loudly, but I love when people chomp their gum loudly. Like, it's so satisfying to me. Oh, also, speaking of gum, I'm actually launching a company startup thing where we recycle old pieces of gum. I'm just gonna need a little help getting it off the ground. Now, what sadly didn't get recorded in this clip is when I was so excited that I won that I flipped the board over and the pieces went flying. You should have seen the rook on JJ's face. The chest joke. Now, here I am finally tracing the bodice pieces onto our actual bridal fabric. And yes, this actually is the number of pieces you will need for just one bodice. And yes, that is my niece. And no, she does not usually look like that. She thought she was playing a prank on me by setting it as that, but it's been years. It's still there. Millions have seen it. So who's laughing now? Now, you're going to consolidate your eight cup pieces into four cup pieces by pinning them together to two by two and sewing along the middle edge. You know, the part that when it opens up will curve over your- You know what I'm talking about. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, it doesn't matter. Because odds are none of you will ever make this dress. But if you do, uh, tag me and I'll post it on my Instagram story. Make it. I dare you. I double dog dare you. Which means if you do it, I have to do it too. But you know what? I already did it, so... Now turn those four cups into two cups by placing them together, right sides facing each other, and sewing along the top edge. Flip it right side out and you have a finished cup. But you can't drink out of this cup because it's not dishwasher safe. Now repeat that process with the long band that appears to have a very rounded W in the middle. When you've ironed it down as flat as a run over frog in the middle of the road, freshen up and head to the store. Our objective is to find something with padding in it that we can utilize in our top. Could someone please explain this swimsuit to me? After simply buying a bra, stop halfway home and shoo a baby bird out of the road. Let's get out of the road. Go. Go. Life hack. If you want to get a bunch of old people to start conversations with you at stores, wear these shoes. At least three people told me that they used to have shoes like that. It was so sweet. Now here I was, tracing the shape of my cups onto the bra foam so that I could cut it to be the exact right shape to fit in. This ensured that the top points of the cups would stay pointed upwards, directing everyone's gaze up to the nerve-wracked face of the blushing bride. Once you've top-stitched those cups into your W strip, break out the zip ties. Now Ariana's dress doesn't have any visible boning, but when I tried on my bodice, it puckered a lot and I knew this would help. Also, I have heard that one time a young maiden was passing by when two men were having a duel and a stray bullet hit her but she didn't die because it got lodged in one of the bones of her corset and so like my neighborhood doesn't see a lot of duels happening but it is better safe than sorry to close the back i added some hooks and eyes which is always a little bit triggering for me because true story the first time i ever got stitches was because i got a hook to the eye now if you just wanted a fun sassy fancy top you can stop right here but if you're a stressed out youtuber who has to leech off of celebrity looks for clickbait you're going to have to make the whole dress the whole dress you have to keep going not gonna lie i barely got into the skirt draping process when i decided this is too hard i'm gonna give up i don't need to be making this dress i'm just gonna live my life and then a very clear sign flew out of nowhere. Not him. And not the kid lighting off fireworks in the rain next door. While working out, my face was brushed up against by none other than a flying mouse. Yes, a bat. And if you don't see how that clearly connects to Ariana Grande, I can't help you. Yes, I can. Ariana Grande performs at these things called concerts. Now, one of these concerts was attended by Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez, who is now dating Ben Affleck. The same Affleck who literally played Batman. Not very well, but that's beside the point. Hold on, there's more. At the time of attending this concert, J-Lo was engaged to A-Rod. Engagement is the very thing that led to Ariana Ariana Grande's marriage, and A-Rod is a baseball player who often holds, you guessed it, bats! So basically, it may as well have been Ariana Grande herself who flew into my house and then got trapped between a dustpan and a pool net and then set free outside. So after this divine assurance and a little more brain exercise, I came up with a plan for the bottom half of my dress. Pick a skirt you like the fit of. I don't know why that was so aggressive. Maybe because I'm kind of dressed like a 1950s cheerleader. Wait, I think that joke doesn't make sense. Tear it limb from limb and use it as a pattern, being sure to cut a deep U shape out of the back. Now in honor of Father's Day, I'm going to have my dad narrate the next few seconds, explaining them as he sees them. And here we lay out white fabric and yellow fabric over top of the white fabric. Trace, measure, and cut. Fold. Then pin that mock up together and try it on. Thanks, Dad. Okay, now I can't go much further because I don't have my lining fabric, which is the next step, cutting out the lining for the skirt. So I have literally no choice but to hot tub right now. 
Then Grandpa and I played another game of Monopoly. It was a good game, because I won. Then I went to the fabric store, got understandably distracted, and finally bought some lining. Then I took the paper that I had traced from the mock-up and traced that onto the lining, which I would later trace onto the outer fabric. It was a lot of work. I wonder if Ariana Grande struggled this much when she made her dress. All right, let's pin this lining together. I just want to say, in case you guys are concerned, wondering where Garion is, don't worry, I just didn't want him destroying this dress, so I set him free. He just has this adorable habit where he poops on every conceivable surface. And I'm only concerned about it with this because it's white satin, but normally I genuinely do not care at all. Like I'm pretty disgusting, really. Ask anyone I know and they'll probably tell you that I'm the grossest person they know. And that's not entirely by accident. Just let me explain. Many years ago, when I was in youth group, I overheard some guys talking about what they were looking for in a woman. And this one boy was like, as long as she cares about how she looks and is a good person, those are the only two things that matter to me. And I was like, the only two things? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, what about good hygiene. And he's like, that's pretty much included and cares about how she looks. And I was like, no, it's not. And he was like, yeah, any girl that cares about how she looks also has good hygiene. And I was like, bet, bet. Well, actually, I probably didn't because I don't think he said bet back then, but we argued for an unconscionably long time about this. And it culminated in me altering the way I spent the rest of my life to try to prove him wrong. So to that boy, if you're watching, which you're probably not, I want you to know that I have bird poop stains on every shirt I own. Okay also wear a lot of makeup so who won that one very bad at working and talking at the same time. Pin the skirt lining together, then try it on with your top to make sure what you have so far isn't too hideous. Mine was, but I had to keep going anyways. And now for the final layer of satin, but more like Satan in this case, there was some sort of spirit in there. If you were curious about the cost of this dress, 1247, year of our Lord. Probably looks something like this. Beautiful field, beautiful castle in the background. Oh, grand. Speaking of grand, let's get back to Ariana. Grand day's dress. <gasps> okay, so today I was sitting on Main Street on a bench, minding my own business, and this truck goes by and someone screams out the window. They just scream the word, sorry, this has nothing to do with the dress. If you haven't noticed, I'm really bad at staying focused. So cut out the main skirt pieces. Um, so these are the skirt pieces. Ouch. I missed my bird. Oh, now might be a good time to tell you guys I actually didn't set them freeze at my dad's house. What a beautiful chandelier. Not as nice as this one though. What a nice medallion. I painted that. What's that? You want to see an updated house tour? Let's go. Back to the sewing room. We got to finish this dress. Now we're gonna sew them all together. To do that, I first sewed each of the three panels to its corresponding lining panel, right sides facing each other, then flipped them right side out. Ironed each one down, then sewed the three now lined panels together. But remember, when sewing the back two panels together, don't sew all the way to the bottom. Leave a leg slit open about as long as a squirrel from tail to nose. And finally, don't sew all the way to the top on one of the sides. You're going to want to leave it open for a zipper. The zipper should be approximately half the length of an Ariana Grande ponytail. Lastly, try on the top and skirt together. Tuck the skirt into the top and pin in place. I suppose it wasn't necessary to be wearing the dress during this step, I find that the risk of poking yourself adds a layer of adventure to things. Lastly, hand sew the top and butt. I think I've said lastly like three times. Now to drape that lip thing that hangs off the lower back. This is gonna be a problem. Once you've sewn the inside edge of your flap to the dress, simply flip the top downward, much like Miley Cyrus showing off her lip tattoo. Then, if it's Sunday and you've already gone to church, take a day of leisure. Now let's start on that mosquito net for your head. 106! That's a fever right there. Fold the tool in half long ways, then fold it in half again. Now you're going to gather that long edge by weaving your needle in and out, up and down, like a stone skipping across a pond. Now let all your muscles relax as you drift off to sleep. <laughs> Sorry, get a piece of ribbon as long as an ape's arm. Fold it in half long ways, then sew all along the long edge, then flip it right side out with either a safety pin or a loop turner and turn it into a bow. Simply fold it into a bow shape and then hot glue it together, then take another little piece of ribbon and fasten the middle. Now hand sew one of these little combs to the inside of the bunched up part of your veil. Then hot glue the bow to the top of your veil. Now I think you're ready for the big day. So it's the big day. I'm nervous. I just realized I never said congratulations. Congrats to Ari and Dol Dalton, not Dalton. I hope you appreciate my wedding gift to you. That being me. Impersonating you. Might seem like a weird gift to some, but that's personally what I would want. Like for my birthday, I said, please don't give no gifts. Just come dressed up as me. And by the way, that's not a joke. Hi, it's Makara.
So I'm gonna be doing the reveal of this dress a little bit differently than usual. I'm gonna do it in the style that is modeled after something that I personally cannot stand, and that is most wedding videos. Like it seems like most wedding videos were made in some factory. They use the same ingredients of seriousness and slow-mo to make these. I'm so sorry, I hope I'm not offending the entire world, but it's just a personal thing. Like I laugh when I watch most wedding videos. So I hope you laugh when you watch this one or cry, hopefully cry tears of ser seriousness. Here it is, the grande reveal. My dearest wedding dress, I knew from the moment I first laid eyes on you that you were made for me, even though technically you were made for someone else. I was going to make you made for me. It's been a long journey to get to this point. You've challenged me in ways I've never been challenged and no one has ever made me cry harder, smile bigger, or cry harder than you have. There have been ups and there have been the opposite of ups, but I think I can honestly say I wouldn't trade a second of it because the reward has been so much. No, you're doing really good. Okay. Okay. Away. Oh, do you want this recording? Yeah, is it not? No. Thank you! Bitch! It's locked! How am I gonna get married? Could I have a pink drink? Yeah, do you have a size in mind? Grande. Thank you. Next. Are you like getting married? Like no. Here, you have a hole in your butt. Everybody has a hole in their butt. But since I, in particular, had a really big hole in the back of my dress, I decided to actually rip the entire back open and insert a big triangle of fabric. You're probably confused as to why this video is still happening. Well, basically, I just wanted to show you another variation in case you wanted to make a wedding dress but not make it just like Ariana's. And also, I needed to make this video just a little bit longer so that I could make the length of the video the same year that Ariana Grande was born. Now my friend Courtney's here, so I'm going to hand it over to her to explain the perks of these alterations. We put in a panel in the back for more mobility and and have more of a train effect, added some straps because of personal security reasons, and buttons because, you know, they're they're classy. Can we delete that real quick? Hey, real quick, before you get up the energy to click away, I just wanna bring up some people in my life who I'm super proud of. First off, my brother, Micah, he's a genius and he's been working on this documentary film thing for like a year. It's wonderful, link in my description, he just put that out. Also, my super talented artist friend, Dan, also has something he's been working on for like a year. It's this massive head and it's so cool and it's in the Norman Rockwell Museum now and I'm gonna check his work out. There's a website, link in my description. Nextly, I'm proud of myself for becoming a second lieutenant in the Air Force, just kidding, Joe. Congrats, Joe, on being crowned second lieutenant. You, such a hard worker, woohoo! Lastly, my friend Courtney, she got her motorcycle permit so we can finally start a scooter gang that I've always dreamed of having and we'll have sweet nicknames like Skull Crusher and Bone Collector and uh, there's no link you can follow to know anything else about that that's are you still here okay well this is awkward because i i actually i have to go so